Hi, I'm Carol Winchester, the founder of Best DMS, which we now call DMS or Dysphagia Management Systems. This is our inaugural podcast called DMS Cares. The purpose of this podcast is to answer your questions, bring in guest speakers, um, impart information about dysphagia, healthcare, uh, the status of things today, so that we can give you, our patients, our families, the speech therapists that treat our patients in the facilities, the information that you're asking for. And today we're going to start with what's going on with the coronavirus. We're getting a lot of questions about what's going on, how dysphagia is affected, and what they can do in order to manage their dysphagia, both in a facility or at home. So we're going to start with the first question about basically what's the big deal? That question was asked in a variety of ways. And I want to start that answer by talking about the lungs. The coronavirus affects the lungs. Um, it, it's aspirated into the lungs where it develops into pneumonia. So in order to do that, I want to do a demonstration. I want to start with these balloons. I want to talk about what a healthy lung looks like. With this big balloon, this is a birthday balloon. And watch what happens. It's easy to blow the balloon up. It's easy for the air to come out and it returns to its original shape. That's what a healthy lung does all day long. It breathes air in, it expands, air goes out, and it contracts. That's what the healthy lung is. It's like a big birthday balloon. You'll notice on the news, they talk a lot about the people that are at risk, not only people with underlying conditions, but people over the age of 60. Why does that matter? Well, as you get older, things are not as flexible, if you will, as they used to be. So let's look at this smaller birthday balloon. It still blows up easily. It still retains its shape. It's not quite as big. Um, it, it's a little harder to blow up, but really you don't even notice it. You just might notice that you get a little bit more tired if you blow it up over and over again, or if you exert yourself. Whereas the energy that it took to blow up this big birthday balloon, it would take a lot more breaths to get tired. That's the difference with aging and the normal healthy lung. But what happens when you get a cold or you have bronchitis? That's best demonstrated with this small balloon. You could still blow it up. It takes significantly more effort, yet the air still comes out and it goes back to its original shape. That's because you have fluid or you have um, secretions, you have um, saliva that gets, you have reflux, you have things when you're sick that get into your lungs that just make it a little bit more difficult. You're still able to do it and you're still able to oxygenate your body, but it requires a lot more effort. But what happens then when you get pneumonia? When you get pneumonia, I always like to use this clown balloon. You know, the balloon that the, the circuses that they make animals out of. This takes a lot of effort to blow up. It's almost impossible. It takes concerted effort you, for every time you blow it up. That's what it's like to have pneumonia. Think of it as the flexibility of your lungs being diminished greatly from the big birthday balloon that's very, very flexible to the clown balloon that is very hard to expand and contract. But let's take that a step further. What does it feel like? Well, you can see what this feels like by taking out a series of straws. First is the great big milkshake straw. Think of this as your trachea and your bronchi, where the air is coming in. When you breathe through this straw, you don't really notice any constriction. There's plenty of space for the air to come through. It comes through nicely and it doesn't cause a lot of exertion. Then take your maybe McDonald's type of milkshake straw where you breathe through that 
you could still get the air in and out. You notice a little bit that it takes a little more effort, or you can feel that it's being a little bit constricted. Let's call this consistent with this smaller balloon on the aging lung. That's what it feels like. Now, what if you get a cold or congestion going along with this smaller balloon? Let's take your normal flexible straw and try to breathe through that. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but you could see my chest going up and down a little bit. That's because I'm trying harder to get air through this. This is what it feels like to breathe when you have a cold or you have congestion. But when you have pneumonia, it's like breathing through a coffee straw. Here you have your normal trachea. You've got secretions. You've got mucus on the inside of the passageway so that all that's left is this little area to breathe through. That takes a lot of effort and it's disconcerting because you don't get a lot of air through it. That's what it feels like to have pneumonia. So going back to our original question, you know, what's the big deal? The big deal is that taking the normal lung this is why they say 80% of people will have mild to moderate symptoms. They have healthy lungs that are expanding and contracting. They're saying watch it if you're over 60 because you already have a little bit of diminished. You're already having more exertion to be able to just breathe normally due to the fact of aging. If you have an underlying condition, you have this type of a lung where it's already diminished and requires more effort. So you have to be more careful. And then you have the patients with pneumonia, where it's very difficult to impossible to get the air in. So that's what the big deal is. And that's why we're here to give you the information we can, because DMS cares. Watch for our whole series. We'll be sharing more information about the coronavirus, about pneumonia in the days to come. And then we will have our inaugural guests uh, bring your questions. You can uh, go to our website, dysphagiamanagement.com, and submit your questions, and we'll be happy to answer them here. Thank you. This is Carol Winchester.